Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another X-Gen tutorial. And this time we are going to be talking about eyelashes. So in the last video tutorial, we went over how to create eyebrows. And this time we want her eyes to really pop by having some eyelashes, some X-Gen eyelashes. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna be covering several things, including how to clump, how to create independent eyelashes and so much more. So let's go ahead and get started. Just like anytime we wanna create a X-Gen piece, we need to get some extra mesh. So let's duplicate this character, move it to the side, and we are going to be focusing on her eyelashes. So let's make this into a Lambert. And I just wanna grab the geometry for her eyelashes. Now I did have symmetry on, so it did relatively grab all the eyelashes, but let me, or the geometry, but let me grab a couple of those. And then just like I did before, I'm gonna shift, click and drag, and then delete. So the only thing that's left is this. So going back to poly model, I'm gonna center that pivot. Let's take a look at the channel box and change this back to zero, which is gonna go back into her eyes. I'm gonna focus by pressing F and I'm just gonna poke these out a little bit just so I can see them better. If you want, you can go ahead and delete the history as well. I'm gonna freeze, leave the freeze transformation so if I need to, I can zero it back. This is gonna be my eyelash geo. Click on this little guy right here, which is gonna create a new X-Gen description. And again, this is going to be known as my eyelash description. I'll put an underscore if you wanna keep those separated. Uh, this is going to be create a new collection. So I'm calling a collection three. Again, we're going to use a spline. It's going to be randomly across the surface and we are going to be placing our own shaping guide to make sure you add that as well. We are starting from scratch. So let's grab this little tool right here, which is going to add what we need and then click once, click twice, click three times. And now we have some guides, maybe even a fourth time. We'll add more as we go along. All right, making a selection. Let's go back into the attributes and change this or the channel box and change this to 0 0.02. So that will help us with the length or at least the, the width of it. And then we're also going to scale these down. So I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller. Now that I have to set this up, let's click on this tool, which is the sculpt guides tool. So what we're gonna be doing is curling this eye, uh, these eyelashes upward. Now, if this is a little, if the hair is getting on the way, and some of them go this direction, this one goes up, uh, I can go back into my outliner and hide the description. So Control H, and move these curls up. So let's go ahead and get those eyebrows up or those eyelashes up. Now they are curled, so make sure that you uh, go in and change those curls. Now, in this particular guide, this one right here, should be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it tinier because they are smaller along here. And these, the ones in the corners, are usually a little bit longer. So you might wanna make those that one a little bit longer. I could also add more guides. You're not limited to just the ones you built, so feel free to add another guide. And what's nice is that it actually follows it. So um, let's go ahead and change this back to point zero two. And the sculpting is almost already there. So we're just gonna grab this sculpting tool and just gonna go in and make sure that they're facing the right direction. All right, just move this up. Let's make sure we get some nice curls here. Little length here. Nice. All right, so far it looks kind of creepy, but the idea is getting there. this up a little bit. All right, let's see what that looks like. We can always click preview. I'm 
going to increase my density <laughs> and you can see that we're getting some interesting effects here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase it some more. I'm going to, this is so scary looking right now, but that's because I haven't really played with the taper. So let's play with the taper. Now they look like spikes, but also we're going to taper start. We're also going to play with this, which is going to give us a little bit of that thinning area. So that gives us a little bit more control over the thinness of it. So again, we want it a little bit thicker around closer to the eye, and then it gets thinner along the way. Might want to bring this down just a little bit more because it's looking a little spiky. Again, we just want the basic shape. We want it to look nice. I'm going to increase the density a little bit more. I'm looking at the top layer, by the way, everybody. <laughs> and let's fix this area. All right, so grab this the eyelashes, and we are going to create a map. And this is going to be the eyelash description map. My map resolution is 25, and that's fine. I'm going to click on this little guy right here, which is the paintbrush. And let's open this up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is flood it black. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this color black and flood. So I'm gonna turn off the preview too because I think it can get a little bit distracting if I have the preview on. But if I hit save, you're gonna see that the, all the hair disappears. But again, I'm gonna turn off the preview because I really don't wanna see it. So white means we can see it. So go ahead and uh, collapse flood because that can get confusing. And I'm going to paint in the area that I want some color. Oh. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. Let's change this to black. So it should only be black around here, but somehow it's painting everything. My UVs, ah, okay. So it looks like there's some sort of UV problem here. And let me go back into this regular mode. And there seems to be some extra mesh, which I'm going to just quickly Uh, layout. So I'm going to just do a quick little planar map, planar map uh, based on the camera, which is fine with me. Project. I just need a basic UV map. That's fine. Again, I'm going to uh, create a new map. Bring this back to white. And hopefully now, there we go. So that was interesting. Learn something new every day. Make sure that you UV map your objects, otherwise you're gonna get some crazy results. All right, so I do one hair all the way over here. Don't forget the other side. Click save when you're done. And you can see that now we have eyelashes at the top. I'm going to grab this guide here and just kind of scale it in a little bit more because I really just want small ones. And I am going to give myself a little bit more hair. So let's go to 100 density. Probably we'll have to go more, but let's go ahead and turn off and let's add some more guides here. So again, it's just to help uh, guide the hair so they know exactly which way to go. Once you create new guides, make a selection. Go back to the width. This is going to be 0.2. I'm going to grab this one and scale it down. And this one too. Just kind of get the nice little transition there. This is also a good opportunity to do some sculpting. So for example, if you want a little bit more curls along here, you can. Can go a little bit this way. All right, let's take a look at the preview. All right, so just make sure that you're working on collection three, and now you can see the preview. Oops, I'm in the wrong tool. So I have a density of 100. Let me go ahead and increase it to 150. 
Um, it's looking pretty good. And now I want to go into modifier. So over here to the right under primitives, under xgen, we have some modifiers. And if you click on the little plus sign, there is something called clumping. So I'm going to click on clumping and then click OK. And it's going to say that there is no clump guides. So what I'm going to do next is go down here to set up maps. And I'm going to go to density and I'm going to increase my density. And under my mask, I'm going to create a mask. I'm going to cancel this because this gets on the way, which is kind of strange. But let me create a map clump mask. Again, you might want to increase your resolution to 25. White's OK. Click Create. You can click Save and Generate. Uh, we also need to create a radius variance. So click on here and create another map. Again, this is going to be our eyelashes clump. Radiance variance. Create. You know what's funny? I just realized that I said eyebrow. I meant to say eyelashes. So let me change that to eyelash. So again, I click generate. Click save. There we go. And you can see that it clumps together. Except it takes a little bit of practice, but you can see that I can now clump these guys together. Now, so again, this is going to help make it look a little bit more realistic by clumping eyelashes together. It doesn't have to be too extreme. You can increase the clump again this way, which is a little much, but at least you can control it a little bit more. So this gives you a little bit more of that realistic clumping look. So you want to select the eyelashes on one side, mirror it on the other side, and let's take a look at what that looks like. Now you can see that there's one little eyelash that is decided to go through the eyeball. So what I'm going to do is grab this eyelash geo, uh, go ahead and grab the paintbrush. And using the black color, I'm going to, ooh, this is big. Let me change this to 0.1 and just kind of probably paint out some of the bottom ones and see if I can get that to kind of go away. All right, let's go ahead and reload. Oh, let's, let's not forget to save this progress. All right, let's see what that looks like with the render. I'm going to grab that mesh. I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Don't have too many eyelashes, but uh, and let's go to the hyper shade and just make this a little bit darker. So I should have a new hair system. Voila, there it is. And this is going to be the, and I'm sorry if I keep saying eyebrow instead of eyelash, but let's just call it eyelash because that's what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to make, make them significantly darker. And the reason why is because uh, eyelashes have a tendency to be darker or even people just, uh, women, I guess, uh, dark, uh, make them darker with um, mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is relatively dark. And I think I'm okay with the length. So let's see what that looks like with a red. And there you have it. You now have eyelashes using XGen. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. Let me know by leaving a comment below. If you learned something from this video, please like and subscribe for my channel. That would be amazing. That is your message to me telling, uh, letting me know that you like my content and you want to see more. So please like and subscribe. And if you feel that this would be helpful for somebody out there, Maybe you have a friend that needs eyelashes, like photo re uh, realistic eyelashes. Please share this video with them. That would be amazing. So I also want to thank you so much for being there and watching these videos. I know there's a lot of video tutorials out there, so I'm grateful that you're spending the time with me to watching these videos and hopefully getting a lot out of them. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you get a chance, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. That is my website where you can find free 3D models, videos, trainings, and also you can sign up for my newsletter if you're interested. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and I will see you next time.